Hey there, everyone. Welcome to episode number six of Hilo, the MMO Bomb Game Show. We've been away for a few weeks, but now we're back. We've got new questions, a new guest star, all sorts of excitement. Hope you're enjoying it. We'll enjoy it. Whatever. Anyway, if you're not familiar with Hilo, it's a chance for uh, two of our panelists to show off their knowledge of free-to-play gaming, or at least some borderline irrelevant numbers that are semi-relevant to free-to-play gaming. My name is Jason Winter. I'll be your host for today. Before we get into the rules, let's introduce our contestants. First of all, the newly elected president of Zimbabwe, Mike Byrne, a.k.a. Magic Man. Mike, how are you doing today? Yes, yes, I have won my election. <laughs> it was a hard-fought campaign, but we are going to make Zimbabwe great again. That's, Very good. That is my commitment. That's what we're going to do. And I'm here. I feel like I could have beaten Larry on last week's show. Or last show oh, sure. Had I been sure. there. So I'm going to try and see if I can defend the MMO bomb honor against our MMO RPG onslaught of hosts here <laughs> and see how it all works out this week. Did you look at any, look at any Kickstarters today? I have not. I have not. Okay. I would, that would have been a gimme question the last show. I can't <laughs> believe you put it on there. Oh, man. All right. And recently awakened from his 10,000-year slumber and writing for MMORPG.com, Mr. Robert Lashley. How are you doing today, Rob? I'm wonderful, Jason. Thanks for having me. I, however, did not win any recent elections, so I'm not quite as good as Mike is. <laughs> okay. But I have woken up from a long winter's nap, so I'm feeling rather rested, and I'm ready to go. <sighs> and I, too, think I could have beat Larry Everett, but... <laughs> oh, I could have beaten him, too. I could have beaten him, too, but that's because I wrote the questions and knew the answers, so, you know. Yeah, you have a bit Whatever. of an edge. A little bit. Yeah, just a little, little bit. Okay. All right, so here's how we play Hilo. I've got just a little bit. I've got six questions here, more than a little bit, all related to free-to-play gaming, all with a numerical answer. Each round, I'll pose a question to one of the players who will have to give an answer they think is correct, and their opponent will try to guess whether they think the real answer is higher or lower than the answer the first person gave. I'll reveal the answer, and if the second person is correct about it being higher or lower, they score the point. If not, their opponent scores the point. I will play until someone reaches four points, but if we're tied three to three after six, we have a special bonus tiebreaker question. So, with all that in mind, are you guys ready to play high-low? I'm yeah. set as I'll ever be. Oh. Let's do it. All right. I got my pen, but I'm not anticipating the tiebreaker this game. So. so so this is the sixth episode. Mike, what are you now? One and three, I think? On I'm four on the four one, episodes? You... Yeah, one and three. Yeah, one yeah. and three. Those yeah. three losses were always tiebreak losses, too. So it's a heartbreak. <laughs> a heartbreaker for me to be that terrible on the record, realizing how close the games were. So, Rob, you're, you're going to do fine. He's not tough. Wow. No problem. <laughs> All right, let me start right. switching assignments right now. So, Jason, you're about to have some stellar shit to write. Uh, not winning putt, anything but that. All right. Uh, Mike, you're going to go first. The categories right. today are Defiance, Hearthstone, Lord of the Rings Online. Now, this is not just games that I play. It's, it's, it's randomly turned out yeah, that way. It's sounding like you went through your hard drive so far. <laughs> Revelation Online, RuneScape, and World of Warplanes. Wow eclectic bunch i'm gonna go with the new sexy that i don't think is sexy at all let's go with revelation <laughs> online doesn't it have like like bounce physics it's teaching uh, me chinese it's doing that so <laughs> this question will be written in chinese now not chong 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 no no sorry all right now we as we all know we all spend just way 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 too much time deciding how to make our characters in mmos don't we all do that mm-hmm so according to an infographic about closed beta test one, how many minutes did the typical player take to create his or her character? And and don't worry, it's all like that months thing. It's minutes. It's less than 60. So don't worry, <laughs> it's, it's less than like 60, a... but more than one. All right. Yes. Okay. Um, I didn't spend a ton of time in there, but I also didn't think that their character creation was as robust as others I've seen and as much as they touted it for being robust. It was fairly template-y and then edit a little bit here and there for me. Um, nothing like a Black Desert Online or even an Ion. Sure. So I, I don't see a ton of time. I don't, I don't see like 59 minutes or anything <laughs> like that. But there is enough there that you could you could get some... Is the jiggle quite right for your tastes? Uh, I'm going to put it at, I'm going to say people spent 14 minutes, an average of 14 minutes. I think that gives enough of us that probably took two to three minutes 
to offset and bring down the people that maybe spent 30 or 40 minutes in there without it being an unreasonable average. I'll say 14 minutes. All right, 14. Rob, do you think it was higher or lower? I'm going to actually play the game here on this answer, and I had oh, actually had the number ah. 10 in my mind. Okay. Uh, as you were going through that long explanation about the jiggle physics and everything else that either was or wasn't involved <laughs> in the character creation. So uh, since I had 10 in my head to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and say lower than 14. Lower, lower than 14. Oh, All right. Out of the gate. Who got it? So, so the answer is 24 minutes. Oh, wow. So Mike is going to score that point. Applause. Hey. Yeah, I got the applause. Of, damn, I'm actually really surprised that it's that high. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Apparently, uh, I didn't think got, it was that it. robust a creator. Emphasis on bust, apparently. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right. One nothing. Mike. About five minutes in any game for any character. <laughs> <laughs> You're clearly not the target audience for uh, for that question. Yeah. All right. I hit You're random too- until I'm okay with it. <laughs> I, that's. <laughs> Uh, your choice of category next, Rob. It's Defiance, Hearthstone, Lord of the Rings Online, RuneScape, World of Warplanes. I'm going to go ahead and choose Defiance. Defiance. Ooh. Ooh. We know Mike doesn't. Well, you played. Yeah, you played Defiance. I just think. Way remember when we had this on before? Yeah, you were like, back. "Oh man, I'm not. I hate that game." No, right. I, I don't hate the game. There's just nothing to do at a certain point. <laughs> All right, so. According to the Wall Street Journal, the first season of Defiance TV show cost $40 million to produce, but the production cost of the game was even higher. How much was it? Oh, Hello, that's, that's you. <laughs> I was waiting wait for my answer and for me to no, sit there and no. listen. Oh, how much is it? Okay, so <laughs> I believe... That it was around. I got to give a long answer first. Okay, so I've yeah, got a little yeah, bit talk, of talk for a while. I'm going to take, take a break. Here. I got to go to uh, Toronto uh, and see them filming the pilot episode of oh. Defiance. Um, Did it look like it cost forty million dollars? Yeah. No. <laughs> what? How much does it cost to build a plastic house? I do know that one of the sound stages I was on that was designed to look like a bar cost two hundred fifty thousand dollars to Ooh. build. So probably more than a real bar. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it cost $80 million to develop the game. All right. So 80 for the game, Mm. twice as much as the show. First season of the show. Mike, what do you think? Higher or lower? Mm. I'm just going to play the odds here. I think not, not remembering anything about defiance's initial startup with try on and how much it was and blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to play the odds and, Looking at the game, I don't think it's over eighty million dollars. I think if it was over eighty million dollars, it would have been bigger news at the time because of Tryon's difficulties. I'm gonna go lower. You're making me rethink my answer. Oh no, no, it's too late now. <laughs> too late now. All right, and the answer is seventy million dollars. Yes, well, that was close. Oh. You were damn close. close. I, wow. I guess we never had, we never had anybody get the answer exactly right though. So you know, no, that but happened, I, I, guess... I have a tendency of, to do what Rob just did and miss it by one increment somewhere, like <laughs> four hundred or just ten million dollars. That's all. You yeah, know? but you yeah, know, you said forty uh, million, so he's probably going to throw a ten, and he missed it by one. Damn, Rob, yeah, I'm I, impressed. I, I knew it cost way more than it should have. <laughs> what the game looked like. And I mean, there was a lot of stuff they had going on there in development to yeah. multi platform that and trying to get the cross server. I mean, they had the cross server functionality working. The reason it just couldn't deploy that like that is because Microsoft doesn't like people to do that. Yep. And so, anywho. All right. Well, it's going to be a 2 nothing lead now for Mike. Oof. Yeah, I've been Halfway there before. To I'm not, I've, I've been there before and lost. So. Yeah, I think you have. Yeah, I remember that. That was embarrassing. <laughs> On tiebreaker. All right. Uh, we've got Hearthstone, Lord of the Rings Online, RuneScape, and World of Warplanes. Oh, God. I'm going to go with Hearthstone, banking on the fact that you've used this category before and it was a card <laughs> count question. So maybe this one is not a card count question. I'll go with Hearthstone. Sorry, Mike. Shit. All right. <laughs> Not exactly. It's not in the same vein, but it is about number of cards. All right. So you know basically how arena works. Now you pick your cards. 
one at a time from a set of three until you build your deck of 30 cards, right? right. Y'all know how that goes, basically? Yes. Well, okay. I knew the 30. Okay. That was, was the question. <laughs> no, that's not the question. But according Damn. to an infographic that Blizzard released in 2016, what is the most copies of a single card that one person got into one of his arena decks? Wow. Yeah, because the, the limit doesn't apply there, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, normally it would be two per. But... Right, so you need yep. it You need it to pop it? in your section of three and then select it and then need it to pop in subsequent sections of three. So there's a, a lot of freaking RNG here. Mm-hmm. I'm then you, to get all then it needs to be a ass. card worthy of selecting the first time and then seeing it again and wanting to select it again and then seeing it again and going, all right, let's see how many times we can get this. Uh, but 30, I, I don't... I'm going to put it at... Just the odds start getting exponentially bigger. Um, I'm going to... But for it to make an infographic, it would have to be a big, impressive number, wouldn't it? Mm hmm. Maybe. I'll, I'll put it at the the slightly less than sixty six percent mark. I'll go eighteen. Eighteen cards. Eighteen out of thirty. Eighteen as copies the same of the card. card. I just huh? I think that gives me a good fifty fifty shot for Rob here. I mean, that's yeah. literally <laughs> all I'm doing with that decision. Right. What do you think, man? Higher or lower? I think that um, if I was in Mike's position, I probably would have guessed twenty. But playing the game, because I, I don't disagree with your logic. Uh, I at almost a said point, 20, but I wanted it, it almost equal on both sides to screw yep. you into a coin toss. <laughs> yeah, because every time you hit that button, you have the same chance of getting yeah. that card. Um, and you had for them to throw it on an infographic. And by the way, I need to study up on infographics, Jason, because you love those infographic questions. <laughs> Great. Lots of numbers. Um, Lots of good numbers. I'm going to go ahead and say lower, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's right around that range. Okay, lower than 18, and the actual answer is 9. Wow. So half of what you saw. The, the only thing that confuses me about that, then, is it being on the in infographic. To me, I thought, you know, 6 to 10 was probably reasonable every once in a while. Maybe it's Honestly, not. Honestly, of, of the, like, 100 or so, at least 100-plus arena runs I've done, I don't think I've seen a card come up 9 times, much less a card I would want to get 9 well, yeah, times. Yeah, I mean, so. I think it would, obviously, odd-wise, it'd be very rare, but... Nine, I think okay. I had five in a deck once of one card. That's the most I've ever had. But See, you're almost anyway. at nine already. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm nowhere near 18, though. Your five doesn't worthy <laughs> isn't worthy of an infographic. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> but all right. Like I said, it goes up exponentially. It's that yeah. much harder every time. Well, all no, right. the odds are the same. Odds well, are the same every time. Well, yeah, every I know, time. I know, but that much less likely that you're going to get them. That, it's the combination. It's like red-black roulette. How many times? Anyway, never mind. All right. It's like flipping a coin. The previous yeah, yeah, outcome yeah. of the coin has yeah, no has impact no on the next outcome. Don't pay right, any attention to that roulette heads board. In a row is weird if you don't. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Mike's up two to one. Stats. Gotta hate him. Rob, Rob's turn to pick. His choices are Lord of the Rings Online, RuneScape, and World of Warplanes. You know, I've got two really great connections with those games. Um, and what, are you going to call, you gonna call your lifeline? Burn by him. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to choose Lord of the Rings Online. Okay. All right, so we did this a little while ago with Conan, so now let's try with The Lord of the Rings. How many years was it between the publication of the first Lord of the Rings book, namely The Hobbit, and the launch of Lotro? Oh. oh. Okay, okay, whoa. So you're going with the publication of The oh, Hobbit, the not The, original the Fellowship book. of the Ring. That was the first book. I, I know. That came out before, uh, yes. Okay, we're going with Hobbit. All right. Uh, 60. <laughs> <laughs> not, he's not screwing around. Just 60. 60. Screw it. 60. <laughs> All right, Mike. 60. Over to you. I was thinking why Mike was debating on what on the question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when were they freaking written? I got to go, I gotta go uh, higher. I get, um, so more years. Yeah, more years than 60. Because, well... I can't remember when they were written. If this was like a... 40s, 50s, 60s. For 60 to be on, and the, yeah, uh, no, I'm gonna go lower. I'm gonna go lower. Lower? Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it makes it quite to 60. I think it's pretty close though. Once again. All right. And the answer is 
70. God! 70? <laughs> you had it, Mike. You had it. You knew that was going to happen if you changed your pick. I just like Logo giving the show. came out man. in like 2007, and I think uh, The Hobbit came out in the early 50s. So 1937. I would... 1937 uh, yeah. is when so, it first published. Yeah, even earlier than that. Yep. Well, and that's what I was banking on. If it was in the 50s, then I was just slightly under 60s. And I, the for Lord some the reason, Lord. I put them in the 50s too, Rob. The main three books, The Fellowship, Two Towers, and Return of the King, did come out in the 50s. Right. We were talking about The Hobbit. So yep. there you go. <sighs> Tie game. All right. We're tied up at two. And Mike, you got two categories left. So is it going to be RuneScape or is it going to be World of Warplanes? Uh, I don't want World of Warplanes. <laughs> RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think the Warplanes one was easier, but whatever. Of course it was. <laughs> Shut up. All right. RuneScape, here we go. So apparently RuneScape is, gets updated a lot. Enough to land it in another one of my favorite sources, the Guinness Book of World Records, under the category of most prolifically updated MMO as of November 2016. They said it was an update it said it's been updated once a week, but if you do the math, it's a little little bit more than that. So my question then to you is with RuneScape being launched in January 2001. How many updates did it have as of November 2016? Wow. Um, he said once a week, but the number actually right. is a little higher than that. So. Right. So 2001 to 2011 would be 52. 2016. No, I, 2016. I know. I know. Oh, okay. I, but, yeah, I got to break this up math-wise since I don't have a calculator or something. Okay. Uh, 52 times 10 is 520. Add half of that to accommodate the next five years from 11 to 16, and you get uh, about 260, so 520 and 260, 780. More than that, I'll go with 825. 825 updates. 825. Rob, what do you say, higher or lower? Well, I was actually at RuneFest in <laughs> London uh, in September of this year, and I don't remember them mentioning what that number was, and I don't think they had been inducted into Guinness quite yet. No, yeah, that would have been two months early. So Yeah, though I did see um, Square Enix get inducted into the Guinness Hall of Fame in, right. uh, in Germany a couple weeks ago. So Three different inductees. Oh, Three okay. different inductions, yeah. But I was there, were you? No, I was not. One of them was, ironically, a similar topic, though. Most prolific. It was the most prolific yeah. RPG franchise with, like, 78 entries or 87, something like that. Yeah. Um, I was going to go ahead and say 800. Jason, I think you may have gave too much information um, by saying <laughs> it's a little more than a week. <laughs> but because, oh, this is a coin toss. I think you did well with your pick of 825. Um but I'm going to go ahead and say higher. I think the number is higher than that. Okay. And the answer is 955. Okay. Yeah. No, Rob, so. his clue of a little higher was way yeah. off. <laughs> well, if you're well I think it was a little course. higher on an annual basis. Right. And you just yeah, took it as over a little higher over years, the number. Sure, sure. Yeah. Damn it. And See, you got to remember, they've got... I told you getting up two nothing doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They've to got. You, huh? They've got three different versions of that game going. They've got like yeah. old school, they've got version 3.0, and then they've got the regular one that's still rolling around. Yep. It's a, there are a ton of people that play that, and you want to talk about a grindy game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go grind skill points, guys. RuneScape. Yeah. All right. So well, people Mike love it. Up two nothing. Now he's down three two, and we got the last, maybe the last question. <laughs> Rob, if you get this one correct, if you win this point, you will win the whole match. Otherwise, we'll go to the tiebreaker question. And your topic is World of Warplanes. There's no option. No, no really <laughs> <isn't>. <laughs> All right. I had an right. inflatable Warplane once for them. Uh, don't worry. It's not that bad, really. It's, it's not that bad. All right. So, you know, poor World of Warplanes. Seems like it's kind of... Did I get this wrong? Uh, Putin killed me? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Putin and Victor. Anyway. Now, World of Warplanes is just kind of like the, the black sheep of Wargaming's trio of games. Now, Tanks has done pretty well. Warships done pretty well. A warplane has been met with a pretty resounding meh, but how much meh was it? Tanks scored an 80 in Metacritics. Warships, 81. What was the score for World of Warplanes? Editor's score, right? Yeah, the, the critic score. Critic right. score. All right. Well, uh, it was so bad that this week the 
chiefs at Wargaming said they're going to go ahead and refocus themselves on World of Tanks and kind of let World of Airplanes sort itself out. <laughs> Whether it ever manages find to sort itself out, find your own path to success was, I think, yes. the quote. Find your yeah. own path yeah. to success. <laughs> Basically, take your middling sixty-five you have on Metacritic, and we'll go ahead and continue on with World of Tanks and score the money there. So I'm going to go ahead. I haven't looked it up lately. I'm not sure, but I'm going to say, man, I'll just say sixty-five. I think we're going to a tiebreaker question, but I'm going to go with 65. No, okay. I don't know. I think that's a good guess. Fight, it kind of puts me in a bad life, spot. Because if I lower. say higher, then 70 isn't that meh a score. I mean, it's 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 okay. It's a game worth Oops, checking out. Great. It's a, it's a it's a game that's worth at least checking out if you're into the genre. So I, I kind of have to go lower here. I don't. I don't think it's sixty-five. I. I actually do think it's lower. So I'm okay with being pinned in this in this direction. I think it's lower, Jason. Okay. And the answer is sixty-nine. Oh, fuck! Just <laughs> higher enough. What a comeback! Look at him go. He's, he's gone. He's gone. Yes! <laughs> sixty-nine. Rob is the oh. winner. Mike. Oh, Mike, Mike, Mike. You got to stop being so confident when you get that lead. I I <laughs> wasn't. You were the one that was confident <laughs> for me, and I said, no way. Send brain cells. <laughs> they, they, they just lose. You got to keep LeBron in the game, man. Uh, Does this mean I have to come back? Damn it. <laughs> no, beating Mike isn't an accomplishment you have to actually brag about. <laughs> <laughs> Good game, sir. Good game. Good, well, well done. Played. Well played. Your reward, your reward for winning is this this box of Valentine's Day chocolates. They're all your just look right what's inside it. You know, wait. <laughs> what if I wanted a lightsaber from a galaxy far, far away shipped express mail? It'll be only, here in a light year or two. I only I only have one of those, sorry. Yeah, I, I got a little hungry, man. I'm sorry. I just, I just waited. It's been three weeks since the last episode, you know, so just yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, but your real reward is you get to tell all the folks where they can find you on the internet, so go ahead. All right, you can uh, find me reviewing MMORPGs over at MMORPG.com. You can find me ranting and raving about any other game that I choose on RantOnRob.com. And you can follow me on Twitter at Rant underscore on underscore Rob. All right, and Mike, where will we find you? Yeah, on Twitter under (laughs) uh, at Can't Play This Fucking Game. Um, one. come over to my website blowingbigleads.com <laughs> <laughs> magic man that, one sure below. make sure you use <laughs> touche sir touche uh, make sure you follow at MMO bomb while you're there obviously for all the news and stuff yeah 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 it's okay Mike We'll find you some. We'll find you some good competition I'm next go time. Hang myself with the next extension cord. <laughs> and you can find me twittering, tweeting, twittering. Twitter. At, with, <laughs> That's a verb. And Twitter. streaming occasionally on Twitch.tv/slash Jason Winter. Of course, as Mike said, head on over to mmobomb.com. Check us out on Twitter at mmobomb. Get all the latest and greatest news, videos, giveaways, reviews, all that much more about free-to-play gaming. Thank you again to our contestants for their time. Thank you for watching. This has been. Hilo, episode number six, and we will see you next time. Later.